Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another fantastic review. This time we'll be reviewing the Dirt 3, which was developed, developed by Codemasters Southham and published by Hot, uh, Codemasters and Terrell Interactive for Mac. Um, Dirt 3 is the, uh, I think it's the 8th game now? Ninth, ninth, sorry. Ninth game, yes. The ninth game in the Dirt series. So, um, the Dirt 3 is a simcade racing video game played by played by the Jura no the NM Pro, NM Pro. Um, it was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that turn. The guy is going like 100 kilometers an hour and he made that turn. Damn, this is... Dirt, dirt isn't for me, so, you know, need for speed, give me need for, need for speed and I'll be happy. Um, yeah, it was played by NM Pro. Uh, I believe it was released in uh, 24th May 2011 and it's the first game in the series without carrying the Colin McRae name. Okay, uh, a sequel Dirt 4 was released look, six years... Six, six years from Dirt 3, I think it was in June 2017. <laughs> uh, the game features many rally drivers, such as Cam Block, uh, that one I know, Tanner Fook, Post, uh, Liam Doran and Chris Mickey, I believe, and multi a multitude of others. Uh, the game features a variety of off-road events located in many different places around the world. Uh, you have Asia, Africa, Europe, uh, I believe you're also in uh, North America. All of which bring the player an assortment of challenging real world, real world, real world environment. Sorry. Uh, in September 2011, I, uh, there were reports that a network security problem on their website was uh, an issue, and I believe they lost about three million their three keys to to the public for use. We are still that one that have them. <coughs> Posted in various places around the internet. That much I know. Okay, um, game. The game mo the ga the main mode is Dirt Tour. Sees players uh, earn reputation points in various events to gain the interest of sponsors who provide them with new vehicles. Uh, flashback return from Colin McRae Dirt 2, I believe, which I played it, which can be used up to five you times in any line, difficulty but cost reputation car, points to use it that that that's what i know i haven't played dirt in a lot of time um so yeah uh, you got uh, also other modes that you have you got railing uh really cross uh trailblazers i believe uh land rush uh gymkhana and i believe you also have, have head to head events You also the game provides special party modes like invasion, outbreak, or transport. So it is a good game. Um, the aggregator score reviewed for the PC 68 out of 100, which is pretty good. Um, you can just see the review scores. Uh, the best one that was reviewed was 9 out of 10 by. Destructor player. Destructor. What? Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's a fantastic game from what I've heard and um, the graphics are amazing. You can see it. Look at that. Look at that dust coming out of the tires, you know? And if you look at the right side of your screen, you can see NM Pro 10 driving. Just look at those driving skills. Bam! Um, uh, there was also a complete edition of the game was released by Codemasters in 2012. That, that I know because I bought it. 
<laughs> consisting of the game and its uh, associated DLCs packed together. Uh, the, the complete edition had several tracks and vehicles. It was, it was released in March 9 in Europe and 20th March in North America. Um, the complete edition, I know this to be, I know this was removed from the Steam Marketplace in early 2017, presumably due to expiring licenses for the cars. So yeah, that's something. Uh, can we see who do we see? Max Davison. Oh, okay, he's not here yet. Wait. Um, what else could I say about this game? Uh, the game was also in single player and multiplayer, so it was. It is a site for sore eyes if you have the original. Um, I really appreciate the game. I mean, rallies were always my go-to in my childhood. Uh, just without the steering wheel and the shifting, of course. Um, even though NM Pro 10 isn't playing, isn't with us anymore, but still, you know, probably I'm gonna be retaking, taking all of these um, games. I just don't know how I'm gonna manage the steering wheel. Uh, and oh now that had to hurt and yeah look guys it's a great game great graphics um, awesome experience and as you can see if you have a steering wheel that doubles the fun <laughs> so yeah I appreciate it if you would try the game just try it you can find you can find it on the internet probably buy it and everything and uh, this is gonna be it for this review and I will see you guys in the next review and enjoy.